So, for today, we'll be going from this to this. So, obviously, this switch has already been done, but I'm about to show you how I did it. I want to talk about the difference in feel this steering wheel gives to the car. It is an absolute day and night compared to the old wheel. Now, a few things I'm going to miss. Well, actually, just one thing. I'm going to miss the flappy battles. As you might remember, this car was an SMG, no longer an SMG. Uh, so I'm going to miss these. I was actually planning on retrofitting these back onto this, but that's not actually possible because the back part is different. The massive difference is look at how thin this thing is compared to this bad boy now this is actually a bit uh thicker mm. it's actually it's slightly thicker than the oem because the rewrap it's uh, obviously been rewrapped normally goes on top of the original leather the buttons are a very welcomed extra uh but my car actually came with these at some point but they've replaced this just this part because as you'll see in the video, I just plugged these back, these bad boys in and everything uh, lit up and everything was working perfectly except the cruise control. Now, the reason the cruise control does not work is because I've been giving you the finger this whole video. Sorry about that, boys. Uh, the reason it doesn't work is because this car being an SMG, there are quite a few sensors and things that the car uh, would like to see for the cruise control to work, but that's not possible right now because uh, they don't exist anymore so uh, a bit of DIY needs to be done for the cruise control to work but um, I might get on that sooner or probably later the feeling whilst driving is spectacular with this wheel it just feels so nice and thick in my hands mm. it actually you know enhances the driving so much I was actually very very surprised by how different the car feels the car actually feels like sportier i don't know how, how how to explain it but really very very nice mod a bit expensive this one uh a very nice fresh wheel costs 200 euros uh normally for the bulgarian market this is obviously might be quite different in other places the, these the m wheels in varying conditions Go for around 150 euros in this one particular being 200 because it's been rewrapped fresh, clean, everything works, everything is nice. And uh, one thing, if you own an E46 or plan on owning an E46, it's a great upgrade. Uh, but if you drive one with the M wheel, you can never go back to this thing. It just feels so awful. But yeah, without further ado, let me show you how it went for me. So for now, we're going to go with a commentary. So uh, first off, I removed the battery terminal so uh, we don't get any errors. You need to remove the battery so you don't get any airbag lights. So I take my little screwdriver and uh, start pushing on these little pins that are located right here. Uh, as you can see, I take the wheel to try and push them, see how to push them in, to see at what angle I should go, uh, which was very actually useful to have another wheel with me. So I push out the left side of the airbag. Now this is where the fun begins. The right side of the airbag, it takes me so long to push out. I had a lot of issues with the, the other side, the other side of the airbag. I take the wheel again to examine uh, the, the right little pin. I try and, you know, do it again. As you can see, I'm putting a lot of uh, pressure, a lot of strength, power into trying to open that the other airbag, but it's not really going too well. It, I'm, you know, I'm pushing the little flappy panels. It's it, it's. It's not going well, as you can see, it's spit, it's, um, I'm speeding up the video, I'm again looking at the things, like what the, why is this not working? And uh, I actually push in the other side of the airbag again, so I can try from this side, which you know, might sound ridiculous, but it actually was the winning strategy at the end. So I successfully push the right pin, and as you can see, the airbag is open. So I fucking uh, get up and start pushing on the other side, hoping for the best, and voila, and there it goes, finally open. 
So it's just these two little pins on the uh, airbag that need to be removed. Uh, it's not really that hard. You just need to take a screwdriver or it can be done by hand. I don't actually remember. You just open the little things and uh, there is the bad boy. So now for the fun part, get your breaker bar, get your socket 17, I think, 16, 17, and just break your hands like me. Not very fun, but you just unscrew the center bolt, really not that hard, and uh, you're good. Then you just wiggle the wheel, and it's off. Well, I'm, I'm struggling a bit. Oh yeah, you need to remove the connectors as well. I forgot about that, but yeah, it's, it's good. Uh, give it a nice clean. So... These wheels have a tiny bolt with a spring. For some reason, the new wheel did not have that little spring, so I took the the bolt with the spring from my old wheel uh, and just reinstalled it. Now, reinstalling the wheel, uh, you can't get it wrong because on the wheel hub there is a little marker and on the wheel itself there is a little marker. You can't actually put the wheel in the wrong way. Um, just reconnect the cables and... I just noticed something. So I'm gonna leave you with IRL me. So this is where there is a bit of a difference between the SMG steering wheel and the normal one. This little connector, uh, there is no connector in the normal steering wheel for it, but there is the little connector for the SMG transmission flappy panels. So, back to not IRL me, you just screw the nut in, get that shit tight again so you don't die. Um, connect the airbag, that's the simple, just two connectors, and then you just push the airbag in, and voila, you're done. Yeah, this looks much better. So, after that rude interruption by IRL me, it's time for uh, the moment of truth. Will it work? Now, we obviously know it works, but at the time, I did not know, oh. so I was excited. Holy fucking shit, this thing, the lighting actually works. So that's a good news, that, that's good news. And the buttons also work. <laughs> that's great, just sadly. But it's just like, it's night and day. This completely changes how the car looks. Very nice. <laughs> It is absolutely different, the feeling of the car. I cannot believe how much just changing the wheel, you know, just changes the feel of the car. Uh, surprisingly, these buttons work. The cruise control does not work. Uh, and I'm absolutely in love with this steering wheel. Uh, I'm going to leave you with a nice sporty driving uh, GoPro footage with the new wheel. Thank you for watching.